Hello, I'm Yoko, and welcome back to another OC Spotlight video. This time we're talking about my OC, Takumi Wakuni. I recommend checking out Yoshio's video first if you haven't. I'll link it below and in a card above. It goes more into detail about the setting of these OCs because these are Danganronpa OCs in a comic that I'm making on Instagram. That's called The Spare Emporium. And that is also linked below. And I'll be talking in this video like you've either seen the previous video or know how Danganronpa plot formula works or you've read the comic. In general, I'm going to be talking about it as if you have prior knowledge. If you decide not to watch that video for some reason, then quick content warning. The Danganronpa series is typically meant for an older audience and includes themes not limited to murder. <laughs> but with that said, let's get into Takumi. The art in this video is kind of a bunch of miscellaneous doodles of him that I made because I was running out of time. I'm not quite sure all the art that's in this video. I might have made more after I recorded the audio. Who knows? So I won't really be talking about it that much. But today is June 28th, and it's Takumi's birthday, which means his zodiac is a cancer for anyone interested. And again, if you missed the first video, I'm going to be trying to go through all the main cast for my comic on each of their birthdays with these bonus videos, so yeah. And Takumi is the ultimate blogger, and he has a ton of blogs of various topics, and he gets annoyed when he's not recognized, feeling as if everyone should know him. Like, come on, how do you not know who he is? He actually really craves the attention and is kind of reliant on technology for validation, which is unfortunate considering everyone's devices were taken away before they got trapped here. This fact kind of caused a panic when he first woke up, and panicking is something Takumi is very quick to do, and he's also squeamish, and he's pessimistic. Overall, this whole killing game situation has him either in a panic mode or an annoyed mode. He's not having a good time. This boy has a weak stomach, and he's struggling a lot. Takumi also essentially clings to June, who is another character in the comic who will be in a future video, but it's hard to talk about Takumi without bringing up June, as Takumi is often seen near him, sometimes being a sort of yes-man for him, kind of disagreeing with whatever he says. They even have spots next to each other during trials that I set up specifically because of this. That being said, June is a character that's rude to everyone, and that includes Takumi at points. And I'm gonna bring up a spoiler for chapter 2 of the comic because I want to mention this part. Content warning for animal death talk. In this chapter, everyone has their pets brought in, and the motive to get the students killing is that every day that a killing doesn't occur, a pet will be killed instead. Uh, not shown in the comic, as I don't want to draw that. But every day a Polaroid that the viewer doesn't actually see is on the floor with evidence of who was the sacrifice. So the characters see it, but we do not. Takumi's pet had been a turtle, but he wasn't attached to it because his mom had essentially gotten it for him a week before and didn't even ask Takumi if he wanted it. And Takumi had been actively trying to find it a new home. That being said, Takumi's turtle was the first sacrifice and June was the one to check the picture. A small detail is that when June sees that the victim was Takumi's turtle, he crumples the picture and seemingly in a rude way, says he'd show Takumi the picture, but Takumi would probably puke again, as Takumi had been shown to do so when he was faced with death beforehand. Interestingly, this is actually a way June is looking out for him, so the friendship isn't completely one-sided. And I just wanted to bring up that little detail. I'll go more into June and feelings and stuff like him when it's his video. What is one-sided, however, is the fact that Takumi is definitely crushing on June. Which is unfortunate for Takumi because June has no desire for relationships in general ever. But Takumi doesn't know that. Takumi is just a gay disaster right now and he needs better taste, honestly. He can do way better than June. June, June does not deserve him, even if he wanted him. There is a moment where June is scared of something for once and he clings to Takumi, which causes Takumi to si silently panic. And I love drawing these faces that were on those panels. In general, I love drawing Takumi's expressions as they're very fun for me. They tend to be exaggerated sometimes. Also, June has definitely influenced Takumi to be even more sassy towards others, and Takumi does his best to impress him, sometimes by putting others down. Overall, Takumi is a character that seeks validation and attention from others. Example A being how he is with June, and example B being his blogs in general and wanting to be known for them. I will say this topic will be explored more during his free time events that I can't actually get into because those haven't been revealed yet and I don't really want to go into stuff that hasn't been revealed. I kind of want it to be a surprise, know what I mean? The most readers really know about Takumi's backstory as of this point is that he has a ton of blogs and he has the kind of mom that would buy him a turtle without asking when he has never shown any interest in wanting a turtle. So, you know, that's something to go off of. Now I'm going to go into some questions that you guys left on a community post that I made for Takumi, starting with, 
Is his hair natural? And if it is, does he have a color that he'd like to try? This is a sort of anime universe where his hair color can indeed be natural, and it is for Takumi. He is fond of this color, and he hasn't thought about dyeing it before, because he fears ruining his precious hair from the chemicals, and he will not risk that. He needs to look good or he will cry. Um, side note, all of the characters pretty much have natural hair, except for one that has highlights and one that actually does dye his hair. Next question. Does he have a tripod for blogging? Takumi more so blogs instead of vlogs, so it's more written stuff instead of video stuff. So most of his posts are just text with some occasional pictures, so no, he doesn't really have a tripod. He makes appearances in his blogs in picture form, but he definitely takes a million different pictures to make sure he gets that perfect shot. He is very insecure and would probably die trying to record a vlog or end up deleting everything when he was trying to edit it. Next up, one person asked cats or dogs, but then another person added onto that by saying, no, hamsters or guinea pigs. And if he were to pick one of these, he'd probably lean towards a guinea pig. Though I think if he were to actually pick a pet in general, he'd get a ferret. Overall, he feels too busy for pets right now, though. And as for if he likes cats or dogs better, depends on the cat or dog. There's a certain cat he thinks is a hell spawn, but in general, they're pretty cool to him. And lastly, for questions that you guys asked, someone asked Takumi what his thoughts on horror movies were and if he had a favorite movie. Takumi does not do well with blood and jump scares make him screech. Horror movies make him an anxious mess, but he can and does force himself to watch them sometimes for the sake of some of his movie review blogs. Even if he hates doing it, he feels like he has a duty to do so and he doesn't want to disappoint anyone. As for favorite movie, he's a sucker for ones with a lot of romance drama. I can't list a specific movie because I'll be honest, I don't personally watch a lot of movies, especially ones that aren't animated. Real people mostly bore me. But that's it for the questions you guys had. I keep forgetting to actually put these posts up for longer before I'm going to record this. So I'll try to remember that for the next character. <laughs> so and then maybe you guys can ask more questions. Now I'm going to get into some of the stuff of why and how I made Takumi as a character behind the scenes type stuff. If you've seen the Danganronpa series, Takumi is meant to be a Yasuhiru slash Kazuichi type of character, often causing a panic and overall handling the situation they're in pretty badly. There's more to his character than this, like there is with those two as well. Takumi is actually kind of smart, and he does have knowledge about how to do certain things that we'll find out later, we just haven't gotten to it. Name-wise, I wanted something that could be catchy to say together, so I picked Takumi Wakuni as the name had the same a, U, and E sounds in it. Takumi, Wakuni. I don't know, I thought it sounded good together. Takumi means artisan according to Google, and I just like the sound of how Wakuni fit with it. Design-wise, I tried to make Takumi look like a hipster of sorts. He was going to have a plaid shirt, but I did not want to draw that over and over again in a comic, so now he has a checkered shoes that I barely draw, but I do love how they look. I'm just lazy to put it in a comic. I already have one character ha that has like an Argyle sweater thing. I do not like it. Backstory wise of how he became a blogger, it's actually because I didn't have a talent when I was designing him. And one of my friends said he looked like a Tumblr user, kind of jokingly. And from there I was like, okay, he can be a blogger. Other design inspirations came from Aridin from Homestuck, particularly the glasses and having a scarf in general. And I kind of took some of the colors from Aridin, but made them more pastel for his color palette, as long as adding some pink because I like how it looked together. And that was basically how I made Takumi. There's way more to Takumi than what has been said so far in the comic and what has been even said in the video. And I'm looking forward to showing you all whenever I do share his bonus free time events and whenever we get to certain points. I really like Takumi and writing him is really fun because of how extra he can be sometimes. I hope you all liked hearing me ramble about him and I had a lot of fun. And if you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate if you could like, subscribe and check out my socials link below. If you haven't already read it, the comic he appears in, Despair Emporium, is linked below as well. My commissions are open if you'd like to support me that way, and Art Fight is about to start soon. I'm Team Vampire, and Takumi is indeed a character up on my account that you can attack if you'd like to draw him. I hope you guys would be looking forward to the next character in this series, but with that said, thank you for watching this bonus video, and I'll see you next time. Peace!